Hi there, Sam here from RetroTech, here to introduce you to our new single channel manometer uh, that we have named the Solo. In this video, we'll cover what the device is and what our customers will be using it for. So we'll first cover what it is. Again, this is a single channel manometer. So it's one pressure sensor and two ports. The display on it is circular uh, and it can actually rotate when you turn the device. So if you're holding it upright and then turn it sideways, the screen will still be upright. So you can hold this in any direction uh, and still have the screen upright. Uh, it has a very long battery life uh, on a full charge. Uh, you can expect 19 hours of continuous use. Uh, it's very portable, lightweight, compact, uh, easily fits into a pocket. And similar to the DM32 and DM32X, it has a belt clip uh, and it's magnetic on the back so that you can stick it to HVAC equipment easily um, and have your hands free. Uh, and another nice thing about this too is it's cost effective. So this will be the most affordable, high precision manometer that auto zeroes on the market. The Solo uses the exact same sensor that comes from the DM32X, and that includes all of the filtering uh, that that sensor uses. Uh, these sensors are very durable. Uh, they work really well still at uh, high temperatures and low temperatures, uh, so in demanding environments, uh, your readings will still be accurate. Uh, the display options that you have, you can read pascals, inches of water column, pounds per square inch, pounds per square foot, and millibars. Uh, you can also do time averaging straight from the device. So you can select from one second, five second, 10, 15, or 30 second uh, time averaging options. And to do that, uh, you'll notice here on the Solo that there are two buttons. One's a power button, and the other one is the menu button. If you just tap the menu button, that'll allow you to cycle through the different display options, so pascals, millibars, whatever you wanna read. But if you hold it down, it will take you to the menu to select uh, which time averaging uh, that you want to use. And you can also choose if you want it to power off after a certain period of time if it hasn't been used in maybe 60 or 90 seconds. So that's what it is. It's just a simple uh, single channel manometer with a high resolution pressure sensor uh, that auto zeroes. Um, there's no wireless connectivity on it. So there's no Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth. That helps keep the cost down. Uh, but what we've seen that a lot of customers that will be using this, um, a lot of the times just won't need that anyway. So let's jump into what this device does and what we see our customers using it for. So we see this across uh, several different industries, including uh, residential HVAC, commercial HVAC, large building testing, uh, as well as some other specialty testing as well, such as for radon mitigation, combustion appliance zone testing, um, as well as laboratory uh, testing as well. Uh, we see this as a great sidekick or companion uh, for the DM32X uh, with the blower door. Uh, you can attach the Solo to a pressure pan and while the blower door is running, you can use it to find leaks with that pressure pan without having to disconnect the DM32X from the blower door and run it manually or have an additional DM32X. So this can be a, a more uh, low cost option uh, and still have two manometers that are separate from each other. Oh, this will also work with the flow box uh, to read airflow uh, on exhaust systems. So uh, like bath exhaust, some kitchen exhaust, whole house ventilation. Um, you can use the Solo with this to be able to read pressure inside the box when a fan is on uh, and reference a chart to see what that flow is. Uh, this is also a great uh, companion for the mini probe that we have. So if you are running a blower door, let's say to negative 50 pascals to get the building under that negative pressure, uh, you can go around the building with the Solo and a mini probe and simply probe different assemblies uh, inside that building to see if they're leaky or not. Uh, so we can probe walls, uh, ceilings, floor assemblies, uh, to see if we're seeing a pressure differential while that blower door is running without having to have a, a separate DM32X. Uh, we can also just read building pressures while the uh, HVAC system is running or while exhaust fans are running, whatever uh, mechanical device is running, we can see how that's impacting the pressure inside the building um, with reference to outside. 
So again, we can use the mini probe for that. Uh, since it's a rigid metal tube, we can shut a door over it and not compress it. Uh, and then see if that building is naturally going positive or negative or staying even uh, while it's under uh, normal operation. So for buildings with ducted HVAC systems, uh, sometimes we can tell if the duct leakage is more on the supply side or the return side. Uh, if that's the only thing that's running and we're referencing the outside, um, that can tell us a little bit about uh, how the duct leakage might be occurring and where the bulk of it might be. Uh, balancing HVAC systems, uh, we, we can use the solo for that too. So here you see it uh, outside of a bedroom door with the bedroom door shut and a tube running underneath the door. And we can see that uh, that room is about five pascals positive with reference to the main body of the house. So that room is being overserved by the supply side a little bit. Um, and when that happens, we're pushing conditioned air to the outside. And at the same time, if those rooms are more positive, that will draw the main body of the house more negative. Uh, so having a balanced duct system is important uh, because it does impact how the building itself uh, leaks air. So we can also do this in commercial applications as well, where there is a, a duct system serving multiple rooms. Uh, we can see if uh, the pressures are out of balance easily just by uh, referencing those rooms uh, with reference to the main body of the building. So I've attached some screenshots to the next couple of slides. Um, uh, this gentleman's name is Corbett Lunsford. He's a, a well-known uh, building performance trainer here in the United States. Um, and what he's demonstrating here uh, on one of his videos is a uh, worst case depressurization scenario. So that's where if you have combustion appliances, you turn on everything that's gonna depressurize that building. So all the exhaust fans, kitchen exhausts, uh, run the HVAC system if that's gonna draw the building negative uh, to see if you can get things to backdraft, such as water heaters, furnaces, um, anything that you wouldn't want to backdraft under normal operation. So uh, basically all we're looking at is just pressure differentials when we put this house in the worst case scenario. And we can use the solo to do that. Um, all you need is just a high resolution manometer that auto zeros, and you just need one channel. Um, so this uh, manometer will be perfect for that. Still working with combustion appliances here, uh, we can test to see if uh, flue pipes are drafting the way that they're supposed to. Uh, and this is something else that we can do with that combination of the solo and the mini probe. Uh, since the mini probe is metal, we can insert it into a flue pipe to see if we're getting the correct draft uh, that we should be getting to make sure that all of those combustion gases are getting out of the building the way that they're supposed to. Uh, radon mitigation is something else that we can test. So uh, if a building has a radon mitigation system, such as a fan that's gonna draw the radon gases from beneath the building and exhaust them out of the top uh, to prevent them from coming inside, we can test that system with the high resolution manometer uh, to see if it's actually drawing the way it should be drawing and drafting the way it should be drafting uh, to get rid of those gases to keep the building safe. Um, rain penetration testing is something else that we see uh, customers using. I know here in the States, a lot of the times it's going to be uh, testers that test commercial buildings, but uh, over in Europe, it may be a little different. I think you guys have a lot of customers that do a little bit of both, but uh, if they do any rain penetration testing, uh, we really don't care about flow. So we just need one channel. Um, so reading pressure inside of that test chamber is really all we need. So a solo will be perfect for that. And it will be very accurate reading since it is a high resolution sensor. Uh, it'll be more accurate than what you would get from uh, other HVAC manometers that don't have that resolution. Uh, some other applications are laboratory or a clean room or uh, medical facilities. Um, if there are certain rooms or sections of the building that should be under a certain pressure at all times, uh, the solo will be a reliable device to use uh, to take those measurements. Um, the granularity of, the, uh, of that sensor is uh, so fine that it's uh, perfectly accurate enough to be able to do that. So if a certain room is supposed to be positively pressurized under a slight pressure, maybe just two or three pascals, uh, we can use the solo uh, to take some measurements to make sure that that room is behaving the way that it's supposed to. 
So I'll share with you a, a few questions that folks had internally that were pretty good that were not covered in the presentation. So one was, uh, what will be included uh, with the kit? So that would just be the solo gauge, uh, a charging cable, um, not a wall charger, uh, and then uh, a set of tubing that will come with it. Uh, probes can be added on optionally. Uh, will the solo be useful in the fire market? Um, personally, I think so. Uh, since you can use the solo with uh, the mini probe with the blower doors running to fine leaks, uh, I think that would be helpful for them. Uh, it looks like the biggest competitor for this gauge is TEC's DG8. Uh, what are the main differences? Um, really the main difference is uh, the lack of uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Uh, so there's no wireless connectivity at all with the Solo. Um, so that's why it's able to be uh, substantially less expensive. Uh, so we see this uh, to be more appealing uh, to get people to use this if they need an extra high resolution manometer. Um, since it doesn't have the wireless capability, the price point's able to be uh, quite a bit lower. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, there's a three and a half millimeter audio jack uh, between the, the two pressure ports on the Solo. Um, eventually, uh, we may provide uh, the ability to uh, use that for speed control for certain fans. Uh, as of right now, um, there's uh, nothing designed for it, but we went ahead and engineered that in there so that we could use it in the future. Uh, the calibration interval on it is just like the DM32X. It's the same sensor, uh, so every five years is what we're recommending for that. And also similar to the DM32X, uh, the Solo does use uh, USB-C for charging, so that, uh, that charger port here is, is right at the top. So that's about it for the Solo. Um, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us uh, back here at Retro Tech. We're here to help, happy to answer any questions, and we hope you're as excited about it as we are. And uh, Thanks, we'll see you soon.